Hello guys, happy to see you again in my channel. I'm happy to share with you about the fourth week of my lecture at IPMI International Business School. Professor Roy was reminding us again about the thesis writing that we have to start as soon as possible, otherwise we will never start. He also did a quick recap refresh about the last week lecture, which was about the Warren Buffett, which was about the Coca-Cola company, how we are calculating the intrinsic value comparison with the market value and about how we are going to calculate about the financial position of a company based on their financial report whether the company is healthy or not healthy based on the report he also explained that there are perhaps thousands of ratios to analyze about the company performance but basically uh, out of those thousands of ratios maybe only few of them that we will be commonly used to easily understand or to get the key indicators about the performance of a company in terms of profitability, liquidity, activity, leverage, and also about the market. And actually, in addition to that, the DuPont analysis actually decompose the ROE indicators to become several indicators that makes us more easier to understand about the company performance. Our class last week were also very interesting because we were having a very deep dive about the beta calculation. So as we know that beta commonly used in the statistic for analyzing uh, the company performance in the stock market and how investor look at this beta and how the investor make or use this beta to decide whether they are going to continue hold the stock or they will be selling the stock so basically in this CAPM approach or capital asset pricing model beta is used to calculate how much is our forecast of the fair return out of our stock investment in the market if our stock somehow performs better than our estimation based on that beta perhaps it is worthwhile for us to hold the stock but if the otherwise, if our stock perform or underperform in comparison to the beta, maybe we should consider that we will be selling the stock. We were also learning about the SANE's principle. So SANE is basically is acronym for saving and investing and then after that spending, SANE's. So we have to consider saving and investing first and then after that at the very last one will be spending. Option could be varies short term mid terms and then also in the longest term and then we can consider to invest in another instrument available in the market that would be all from me for today's video thanks again for visiting my channel hope you get a good takeaways from this channel and hope to see you again soon see you and bye bye